Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. If you are brand new to the channel, as always, again, we'd really, really, truly appreciate uh, your viewership. Uh, you know, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, like the videos. It's the only thing we ask of you. And if you'd like to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, right? It's all jokes aside, guys. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in on a daily basis for our unbiased view, or at least my unbiased view of, of the stock market. So, you know, I came very, very close today. Uh, at around 11 o'clock, 11.30, I was like, guys, I'm probably not going to record a video tonight. And the only reason why I was saying that was there was nothing going on, like absolutely nothing going on. We, we knew... We knew for the last four or five days that the market has been in a range. And if you look at the cues, you kind of see that, right? We were in this really, really tough range. And every single time we try to get above the range, we got smacked back down. Every single time, time we get a glow of the range, we stop back up. So there's nothing really, you know, catapulting you know, either side to, uh, to, the, to the victory. And I was sitting there and I was like, I can't, I can't imagine, you know, this is the first day, at least those other four or five days, we're able to catch, you know, Microsoft, Tesla. We'll get to Tesla in a second. Uh, you know, something, right? Something the first, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes of the day that if the market slowed down, it's not a big deal. So we sat there, literally nothing happened. Really nothing happened in the first hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours of the day. And then finally, slowly but surely, slowly but surely, things started moving up. We started seeing option flow come in. Uh, short term, you know, short term expiration for Amazon, which beautiful, beautiful chart today, you know, broke out of this channel, uh, touched the Bollinger Band, you know, not quite the Bollinger Band, but touched it. A nice breakout on, on, on Amazon. I started seeing the 104, 105, 107 uh, short term calls coming in. Uh, Apple, we started seeing short term 170 calls coming in. Uh, but the point is, nothing was moving, right? Nothing was moving. There's only like two, three stocks kind of moving up, and you said to yourself, well, what's going to get this market finally going higher? Usually, you know, by lunchtime, I'm already pretty much 90, 95% uh, done for the day. We basically started the day at lunchtime, you know what I mean? Which is absolutely unbelievable, but it worked out well. There was, a, you know, some good pivots. Q's did well. Uh, Amazon did okay. And then after the close, we were finally, you know, we talked about that range on the bottom of Tesla. Finally violated three points uh, very, very quickly. Uh, as well. We'll get to that in a second. But the, the key question is, well, what is finally going to get this market moving higher or low, right? Or lower? Again, we're we're an unbiased, uh, you know, a new cycle here. You know, what's going to get this market to finally, you know, break out of its shell, right? Break out of its comfort zone and start going higher. Um, you know, I, I have many theories. Um, most of them are nonsense because, again, I'm the king of the idiots. So most of them are going to be nonsense. But all jokes aside, we're, you know, day two, right? Day two into technology earnings. Uh, Netflix, as impressive of, as yesterday's uh, recovery was from the lows, you know, traded all the way back down to 316 today. Um, you know, you have, you had Tesla today, uh, you know, earnings, you know, down 20% from last year. And you figure, you know, you figure, you know, the stock would get hit much more. It's, you know, it's down overall around nine, 10 bucks on the day, but it's not really getting killed. You figure 20% move, 20% uh, decline in earnings, the stock would be at 165. Look, would it shock me? And again, would it shock me that it goes green later after, uh, after the conference call? No, absolutely. It wouldn't shock me. By the time uh, you're watching this broadcast, like I'm recording it right now, it's a little bit before five o'clock uh, Eastern time. By the time you get this broadcast, you're probably going to watch it uh, right. uh, six, seven, eight o'clock at night. Right now, Tesla, you know, Tesla is trading at 174. And, and after the conference call, I think it's at 536 o'clock. You know, I, I wouldn't be shocked if Tesla's at 165. I wouldn't be shocked if Tesla's green in the day. One of my buddies, uh, one of my buddies actually uh, had a theory, right? Uh, if you guys remember yesterday, they cut their, you know, they cut their models, they cut their price for their models again. And obviously that's reflecting on the earnings, but he had a theory that 
they released the, 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 the cut in prices a day before earnings to kind of trap the shorts, right? To kind of trap that last eager batch of shorts and then just ramming up their throats. Well, right now, you know, Tesla is down about six, seven bucks from the close. But I, I get that theory. I really do. So let's see what happens on the conference call. Obviously, you know, this whole uh, this whole scenario could be completely different by the time you guys are actually uh, watching. But as of right now, uh, Tesla, you know, down about six points uh, after the close. Let's see what happens uh, after the conference call. And definitely some good levels are being breached. Uh, we talked about this 176 level. It took that out, right? You know, it took that out, which basically gave it that beautiful flush. And you guys... Uh, we'll get to the pivots in a second. Here's a 76 that took it out perfectly. I know a lot of you guys in the webinar caught it with me. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous move in seconds, like $3 and change in seconds. Uh, but more important, let's see how, it, how Tesla handles uh, the bottom channel here. As you can see, the lows of the pre after hours around that 72. That's kind of where it's next support zone. So let's watch that 72 area tomorrow, just in case the market continues to bleed and starts to confirm down. Who knows, maybe gets more, more price action to the downside. But obviously, again, like I said, uh, after the conference call is um, is over uh, at any point, you know, you, who knows, we, we, you could be having this, watching this stock at 190 by the time you're watching this video. Uh, other than that, you know, here's kind of where the frustration lies for a lot of bulls. You know, Apple continues to, to grind higher, right? You figure the market would mirror it, not so much. Microsoft continues, you know, to be very, very strong, all holding all levels. You think the market would be exploding? Not so much. Nvidia, every single time they try to get it down, this thing is, you know, a couple of bucks away from uh, the highs from a couple of days ago. So we are we're setting up and we're showing the, our cards. The bulls are showing their cards that everything is super bullish, right? I mean, they can't sell off the market. They keep on buying dips, no matter what's happening in the world. You know, the market keeps on going higher, which is fine. And I'm appreciating that. I'm trying my best uh, to, you know, to, to, to keep the bulls, give them every single, uh, every single opportunity to succeed. But boy, oh boy, a lot of these days, the last three, four, five days now, you know, if you miss your window, okay, if you really miss your window, you're going to be playing with, you know, you're going to be playing with your, with your thumbs for the rest of the day. Luckily today, the market kind of woke up today after like, you know, right before lunch, uh, gave us some opportunities uh, you know, we talked about some names, uh, you know, yesterday we talked about uh, DraftKings, uh, you know, broke out today. It's it's on the, you know, it's on the cusp of breaking out. That stock, EH, uh, not EH, uh, what was the other stock? Uh, HIMS, I'm sorry. Uh, HIMS, HIMS continued, you know, continue its move. So the smaller names were breaking out. Uh, but the question is, what is the market going to finally do? Maybe it's that, maybe it's next week when we have that Super Bowl of earnings, when you have that one day of Amazon uh, Google, Apple, right? Maybe you have that one day. Maybe that's what's finally going to either drive the market uh, to the heavens or, or finally uh, start building below the, the bottom channels. Again, we can't anticipate. We can't, uh, you know, there's, there's no point of having a, a deep discussion of what we think is going to happen. Eventually, the market's going to come out of this channel one way or another. As of right now, the bulls are doing a great job at least defending price points. We're definitely getting opportunities on a daily basis some days more than others, but but fortunate enough, that's the whole point of trading. You're 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 doing your you're doing your best not to play those you know two seven offsuits, those three nines, right? You want to wait for the jacks, queens, kings, or, or or aces, and eventually when the market pushes through a technical level, that's when we're finally going to get it through. But again, like we see every day, we're not in the prediction business, we're not in the anticipation business. We're in the price action business. When the price action tells us to go, we step on the gas. When the price action tells us to kind of cool out, that's when we kind of take a step back. But well, one day at a time, one trade at a time. Uh, going into tomorrow, uh, definitely some you know some names. Uh, I, I there's definitely some names uh, that I like going into tomorrow. Uh, let me give you guys uh, let me give you guys some ideas for tomorrow. Uh, DraftKings uh, again broke out uh, broke out today. Uh, broke it. Well, I didn't break out today. Followed through today. Uh, we talked about this in last night's video. It followed through today. Uh, you know, now it's you know literally a couple of you know twenty cents away from its uh, fifty-two week highs. You guys remember that ETNB from a couple of days ago, right? Remember that the ETNB broke out above this fifteen fifty level. This thing is very close to getting above this, uh, getting above uh, the ape, the the March channel. This thing looks has been a rock start so far. A two dollar move on this thing. And if this thing starts taking out the top channel here, maybe this thing really, really uh, wakes up as well. Uh, Amazon, again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. 
you know, had a nice move today. It was really, really getting strong. I, I thought it was, there was a shot it could get to the 105.20s, 105.30s. It stopped at 105.12 just because it's the upper Bollinger Band. But if this thing starts confirming back up uh, for tomorrow, and again, they were betting short-term expiration uh, for the 104s, 105s, and 107s uh, for today. Uh, tomorrow, let me see what we got here. Uh, let me see what we got here for tomorrow as far as earnings. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, earnings for tomorrow. Uh, let's see here. We got the uh, American Express. You got some steel stocks. Nothing really crazy. Um, nothing really crazy. Let me see what we have for Friday. Nothing really for Friday. It's next week that's going to, uh, it's next week that's going to be, you know, you have Tuesday, right? Super Tuesday. Uh, you got Microsoft, Google, GE, uh, Chipotle, Spotify, McDonald's, Triple M. You got a whole bunch of, uh, you know, a whole bunch of Texas Instruments. Uh, and then next Wednesday, you got Meta, Boeing, uh, Roku, TDOC, and then Thursday, you got Amazon, Snap, uh, and Intel. Uh, kudos to Snapchat. They announced today uh, 3 million paid subscribers to their Snapchat Plus service. I have no idea what that is, but I remember hearing uh, the news. So let's talk about today's, uh, let's talk about today's channels. Uh, let's talk about today's channels again. Super frustrating in the morning. Just nothing was going on. I felt like, you know, I really was this close to not recording a video. I mean, how many times can I say there's nothing going on without something going on? So, but luckily the action picked up and good things are uh, happening. You know, good things really happen. Uh, draftings, uh, 21 and 2162. 2162 is the macro area for tomorrow, but it took out the 21 and closed uh, pretty much at the highs of the day. You can see here traded up to uh, 2140s. Uh, very, very close to uh, breaking its yearly highs. Uh, HIMS 1103 needs to build. Uh, highest close on HIMS. We talked about HIMS last night. You know, not a huge move, but up about 20, 25 cents. Uh, looks like it wants to go higher. Big expansion volume there. Uh, ON, ON, not a huge move, but 3220 needs to build. I think it went up like 40, 50 cents. Not a big move at all. Uh, yeah, it traded right to supply here uh, at 3260s. Went up about 45 cents. Uh, nothing big. Uh, AMD never got below the 50-day. RVLX never got below uh, the below two days ago's lows. Uh, Q's never got to the 1590. Uh, and the video, you know, started waking up here. Uh, 277.75. Sneaky area needs to build. It wasn't a clean move. Uh, you know, it was definitely not a clean move. It looks a lot better on paper. Uh, but it got to that 279.50s push. Here is uh, Nvidia. Here is Nvidia. Here, here's the 277.50s. Finally got up to that 280 level. But not a clean move. But I still like this thing. If it could get above this channel here, maybe it wakes up tomorrow. Uh, so keep an eye on that. Uh, Meta never got to Meta never got to the 213 level. Uh, Netflix never got to the upside. Uh, here's kind of what basically started the day. Uh, 318.30 was supply on the Qs. Needs to build. Uh, Qs had a nice move. You know, had a pretty decent move. Uh, they traded it here. You know, if you give it all this. So here is, you know, here is the here is the the supply right here, 1830s. I uh, traded all the way up to uh, 31980s. A nice move on the Qs before they kind of retrieved, but you know, again, they still have to get above uh, this range here. Uh, Netflix, you know, nice little scalp on Netflix. Uh, 320 held twice, but builds below can flush. Ca you know, caught it for a little less than a dollar. Just again, nothing was nothing was really you know going this morning. Uh, Amazon, nice move. Uh, 104.20s rejected twice. Again, it got to 105.12. Uh, again, I think I still think there's more upside there if it confirms today's channels. If this is when you know. This is when you know you're completely out of your mind when you go Mazel Tov for for a 70, 80 cent move. Um, finally, God, thank God. And Tesla, right? So here is here is the Tesla pivot. Uh, again, we always set everybody up for for both sides of the channel. We, we, the, the point of pivots. You're not falling in love with the stock. You're falling in love with the channel, and that's the whole point. For those who are playing after hours earnings, 192 upside, 176 downside. As you can see here, beautiful move uh, off this 176 level. It literally gave it literally gave like three three dollars and change in a matter of you know 30 seconds. It was it was really uh, really really good. So that's it, guys. Have a great night, everybody. Stay blessed. Uh, stay healthy. Again, do you know? Be a better friend to yourself. If you are considering, you know, being a, a trader uh, for the rest of your life, a, again, remember, you signed up for everything, the good, the bad, the indifferent, the ugly, right? Everything in sight. And that's why we call it the greatest reality show that's not on television. Guys, have a great night. Stay blessed. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.